Time to talk bikes here on Highland Radio this week. And I'm delighted to say we've got a young Donegal rider who uh, continues to compete in the BSB Championship across the water in England and in Britain. That's uh, young Richard Kerr, who's going to tell us all about an exciting year ahead for him. Richard, you're welcome to Highland once again. It's good to see you. All right, thanks for having me, Ashton. Uh, you've moved to AMD Motorsports. You'll be competing under that banner for 2021. You've also stepped up in machinery as well. Tell us all about the move, Richard. So, uh, yeah, as you said, for 2021, we're going up to uh, the Superstock 1000 class in the British Superbike Championship. So it's basically, it's all, you have all different bikes in it. It's similar, obviously, racing. It's just uh, on the British tracks with you know, thousand cc motorbikes and some are over thousand cc. So it's uh, you know, basically same bikes. Obviously, just a lot more power, and then you know they're over two hundred horsepower. So there's plenty of go in them. Yeah, this is the first time that you've stepped onto a thousand cc bike. Is that correct, Richard? Yeah, uh, never rode one before. You know, the fastest bike I rode before was a Triumph last year, and the first time I stepped on it was um, around April, start of this year. So. You know, it's a uh, definitely a big difference, like, but I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's a Honda as well, isn't it? Uh, it's a new Honda 2021 model, yeah. so it is. So it's a great bike. Yeah, uh, this of course is a it's a big move for you. Um, you know a lot of people in the the, the BSB paddock. You've been running there for for six years or so. So you're you're gradually moving and building all the time through the ranks. You are, Richard. Uh that's it. Yeah, I mean, Obviously, when I first went over in 2015, we started off in the 250 CC class, so it was one of the smaller classes in the championship. And then over the years, moved up to the 600 Super Sport, and now we're in the stock 1000. So we're, you know, the the racing's definitely not getting any easier. So it's just sort of moving up in the paddock to, you know, closer to the Superbike class. Yeah, so you're just one level below Superbike now. Is that correct? Um, in a way, yeah, it's the closest you'll get to the super bikes that's not a super bike you know obviously they're the same production based bikes only they haven't maybe a bit less power but they're still you know lap times wise there's only a couple of seconds and even some of my lap times from the test and this year has been quicker than some of the super bike riders yeah so how many uh goals have you had on the bike already ahead of the season which starts at the end of the month um we've done um uh, we've had six outings this year so we've done four official tests so we have and uh we've gone We've done other couple other track days as well, so we've got plenty of miles. And obviously, with the late start to the season, and not being away to Spain like we normally would be due to COVID restrictions, we've done a lot of testing in the UK, you know, and which is just obviously quite important because it's a brand new bike to me, and it's one of you know, it's a far more powerful bike, and it's also a Honda like. So me riding the Triumph for three years, and obviously it only being a six hundred class. Uh, you know, it's a completely different way of riding. So we're just trying to get as many miles under the belts, which we have done. So we'll be ready to go racing in just over a week's time. Yeah. Um, obviously, Fraser and, and Mary Dykes, who are spearheading the, the AMD motorsports team, have a have a lot of confidence in you. What, what can you guys put together this year for, for 2021? What's what's the aims and the hopes, Richard? Uh, it's kind of difficult. But I, I, before I even turned the weight on the bike, you know, throughout before I went testing, I was sort of saying to myself, you know, if we can get inside, you know, it's a big class. I mean, the last official test, there was 41 bikes on the grid. So, you know, and obviously all, you know, 41 of bike riders are really quick. And, you know, the top 20 are very quick, if that makes sense. So, and, you know, it's hard, hard to tell because the times are so close. I mean, one second can separate the like the my final test i was 14 feet, uh, so it was at donington park and i was there i was 0 0.6 seconds off the quickest lap time so that's just over half a second which you can you know you a stopwatch would barely pick it up you know so it is that tight the times but i was before i turned away i was sort of thinking you know if i can get in the top 20 you know that would be like the the, the top half of the race you know but so far all the tests until donington i was top 10 and then uh, down to me ended up 14th but it being the track it was you know i mean another point three could have put me in the probably top six you know so it's literally you know it's nothing real worth chatting about when it comes to tests you know it only matters when will the racing there. be that close as well come the out in at adulton park isn't it um definitely qualifying and the race lap times will be i mean everyone will be obviously on the pace in both sessions but the hard thing is 
you know the riders at the front will do those lap times every single lap or come the end of the race as well on a worn tire but but there's a lot of riders that can do it for one lap and just kind of go all out for one lap and do it but you know to do that 20 times in a race you know is not as easy so obviously the guys that are able to be consistent will and do a quick lap time will be at the front so it, it's not going to be you know it's not going to be 20 people going over the finish line with you know less than 10 seconds between them but there will be the everyone will do those lap times like it's just to see who can do them every lap yeah can you get on the podium this year do you feel alton park was a venue last year done at asan as well um and and, and holland was was another uh when you need to repeat that and do more if it's going to happen um at the minute like you know we're not far away considering for the amount of like there's not many there could be maybe only five newcomers sort of in the class it was the first time on the thousand cc so i think i've been the ahead of everyone that's new in the class and you know to be within 0.6 of a second for only you know only i haven't even raced the bike yet when you're racing against guys that have been in the class five or maybe more years so considering the amount of experience i have i think you know coming the end of the year with a bit more experience you know i, I hope i definitely get quicker and if we can just keep improving i do believe you know there is a chance here definitely. yeah you of course as we said at the start have been going to to england now for the last six years to be part of this bsb paddock and uh, a lot of people have, have helped you along the way richard and have, have sat in the the sidelines and, and keeping an eye on you how your your career has has been progressing and uh certainly continues to to be on the way up no definitely i mean i'm, I'm very lucky you know with obviously from here in donegal the racing wouldn't be just as popular as most other sports so to be you know from an area that's not involved in the motorbike end of things as much you know I was, i'm really lucky to have the as much support as i do from local businesses here and you know and people that i know well that have you know want to see me do well and are, you know do that a bit extra when it comes to fundraising and stuff so i'm really lucky with all my personal sponsors and obviously you know amd contracts and they're based in dumfries in scotland so you know obviously as people in the motorsport will know there's a lot of money even to get involved in buying a competitive bike and you know before you can get to the track then you obviously have tires and fuel so obviously they're giving me an opportunity that not many others would you know be able to i'm, I'm sure there's plenty of people that do, that do want to but like i said there's a lot of money tied up in it like anything to do it competitively so i'm really lucky for amd motorsport and obviously and definitely for all the personal sponsors here to keep me you know at the sharp end and giving me this great opportunity to be competitive at it yeah uh for you to be at the at the sharp end and competitive over the 11 rounds you have to keep yourself in good shape too richard how, how do you do that what's the training like no the training's good you know we're just obviously i work five six days a week whenever i'm not on the bike so obviously come now this summer you know the evenings are longer so we get out for cycling and do a bit of running mountain bike and just your average you know some days are handy work some days yeah you're, you're kept on your toes like the odd days so it's just a bit of everything but um motocross would be the at the weekends would be probably the best for warm fitness because a lot of people think you know it's an easy sport you just sit in a bike and twist the throttle but it's like it's easy to do that if you just want to ride around for a bit of crack but whenever you know it's like you can run easy but if you run really hard it's going to be a lot harder so the more effort you put into it it takes more of your body so it's just uh keep yourself you know injury free and you know don't be too you know eat healthy enough suppose yeah and as for the honda does that take a lot out of the body when you're when you're racing it and what you've seen so far is it is it a, a diff, does is there a strain on the body when you're when you're putting that bike on its full throttle um definitely on the full throttle i mean the thing you know that snatterton i was doing 180 miles per hour down the back straight so you know and that's that straight's not even half a mile long so it gets to that speed very quick obviously and it's pulling the arms off you so but as in like the bike itself it being obviously a, a larger bike I, I thought it would it is a slightly heavier but it actually turns really well you know and i, I expected it to be a lot harder to ride than the triumph so, so i'm really happy you know for the first time on the bike and not ridden one i actually find it quite easy to ride you know everything is honda uk built the bike so it was ready to go racing and they've done a great job of that and so far i'm really enjoying it it's, i've most of enjoyed racing the bike at the minute you know it's just uh it's like i'm just clicking well with it so far but that could all change obviously when come racing i might be saying the complete opposite but so far anyway it's it's been really good so far
Good stuff. Well, listen, uh, Rich, it's good to talk to you. So it is and good to see you again. And uh, all we can do is wish yourself and, uh, of course, uh, the team at AMD Motorsport all the best with, with the season ahead. All right. Thanks, Ashley.